Hi, this is Emmanuel. We are going to be continuing from where we left off in our previous video. All right, so quickly we have our data and we have uh, converted it to time series data. So quickly let us check if our data is stationary. And to do that, we use the function autocorrelative function ACF of time TS. Okay, so we hit control enter all right now this is how we interpret this you see this uh, dotted blue lines here if this line crosses over it that is to say our data is highly correlated and it also means that this uh, uh, data is not uh, stationary okay so another way we can look for the stationality is using the partial co uh, autocorrelative function of time TS to enter okay so um, uh, this one is a bit better now we can also use um, the ADF, ADF dot test is called the uh, Dickey Fuller test to also check if our data is um, stationary or not so this is the time TS control enter all right so the p value is greater than 0 0.05 so this my data is well stationary okay but should in case you are having a data that is not stationary okay let's say at the acf you are seeing that the, in the acf you are seeing your information that the lines are over well over the blue line the blue dotted lines and your pacf the same thing and your adf your um dicky fuller test is having a p-value that is less than 0.05 then you make use of the um or you make use of the auto arima model okay now for i'm going to uh, show you guys how to do that how to how to use the auto arima model all right in doing that we uh, assign a new variable as um s model okay so quickly we type in our model auto dot arima then what data do we want to um st stationalize that is time uh, uh, t s comma i equal to a i comma trace trace is equal to two two all right so we hit control enter all right so it has given us the best fit for this uh, for our model so the best fit is zero two one so we look for zero two one zero two one all right look at zero two one here okay so and zero two one is the best model is always the smallest among the uh, our data so when we come down here and type s model okay so now here here is our information so the series is our time uh, ts the arima model we are making use of is uh, 021 and um, we are having all the values for the ike we are having a uh, uh, 226 262.72 and which is our best uh, 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 which is the smallest of all now we can quickly uh, verify if um, this new model um, is stationary by using the ACF command uh, function so we are going to be having a TS open bracket our new model which is a S model the dollar sign then residues okay then enter okay all right, so you observe that um, we are now having many of the lines are now well below the blue dotted lines. Okay, just for this one, so which is still perfect. Now we can also use the partial autocorrelative function. I will just copy this. All right, control copy, control paste. All right, now. Um, that is for this okay now let me 
copy this uh, this particular one all right now let's just continue okay so click enter all right so let's do that again let me click the let me copy this control copy and let me paste paste it here okay let's do that again all right now so control enter all right so there is a mistake here so here we're having two brackets so i would close one and do that again control enter better so now this is our partial autocorrelacy function and you see that every all the uh, lines are well below the blue lines okay so having done that we can now forecast now to forecast to forecast we make use of uh, the variable name my forecast all right so to forecast we make use of this forecast forecast open brackets our new model which is s model comma level that is confident level c open bracket is 95 make use of 95 level of confident all right equal to h equal to now this h is the number of um years we want to forecast so for this is eight and in uh, four quarters okay so eight years four quarters so control enter now when i type my forecast forecast control enter all right so you observe from the information that is given from 2010 down to 2018 which is eight years okay so i can plot i can plot my forecast plot my forecast my forecast and hit control enter and now this is the forecast okay from 2010 down to 2018 the trend continuously increases okay and our our arima model for this is zero to one okay now we can act we can validate um excuse me we can validate this our model we can validate our model using the l junk box okay so to do that we have the box the text test all right so we have my forecast my forecast dollar sign residue okay comma lag we set the lag as five comma to type equal to l jung box okay so having said that having done that we click our control enter all right so now you can look at the uh, box l jung test so we have our data as uh, my focus dollar sign residues you see the chi square uh, uh, calculated the, the, the degree of freedom is five and p value is point uh, three two two six which is greater than our uh, point zero zero five so for a uh, our data to be stationary our data would have to be uh, greater than point zero zero five for that for it to be stationary all right so that is where we are going to be stopping for today if you find anything confusing please pause the video go back practice as you watch and to get better if you have any other um, complaints please drop your comments on the comment section thank you very much